We wanted to know what relations were like between blacks and whites in Wilcox County, Alabama, so we spoke to five residents of the area. They know each other. Some are even friends. Alicia Foster, a judicial assistant. Jim Emerson, a retired paper mill executive. Cheryl Threadgill, a social worker. Sue Lynn Cresswell, a member of the Chamber of Commerce. And Sonari Boykin, a school teacher. I do see the tension because even though we hold the political power, it's really no power because we don't have any money. So, you know, the, the money's all held by the, the white community. So there is a lot of tension there. And how we work that out, how we resolve that issue, I don't know. You see more, more white people, I think, willing to, to step up and, and uh, do things and work with the black community. I think if people really knew what was going on in somebody else's home or somebody else's life, then that too would break down some of our barriers. Our children need to be able to um, play together. We need to be able to go to church together. Our kids need, need to be able to go to school together. Personally, I feel that until we get there, we still have a long way to go. I think the answer is economics. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no, there's no real parity economically, as you've mentioned, and there's uh, very little hope economically in this county. We're the poorest county in Alabama. We always have the highest unemployment rate. And the answer to many of our problems, frankly, is a good job. Well, what if I've never seen anybody in my family get out and get a job? You know, I've never seen anybody in my family go to college to get an education. I've never seen anybody in my family have ambitions to do anything other than what they're doing. So I, I think that sometimes I see, um, you know, you talk about that plantation mentality, just an insensitivity to what we've, where we've come from. We are not that far removed from slavery. It was not until the 1960s that they provided public education for African Americans past the sixth grade in Wilcox County. I think that there may be, um, and this is all an opinion, that there may be some misperception on the part of the black community that everyone who's in the white community considers themselves a plantation owner. <laughs> um, I live in a big old house that we just are trying to get the floor fixed in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Now we're blessed mm -hmm. because we own more property than most people could even right. conceive of. Mm -hmm. right. And I know that, but at the same time, that doesn't make us rich. Mm -hmm. It makes you wonder, how do we come together? How do we come together? Because as much as we work together, there's still a great deal of separation. There's a great deal of separation.